it's July 14th this is an upload tutorial for YouTube for people having problems with graininess and blurriness in their videos and I'm using Sony Vegas 8 okay now drag your imported video into the timeline and right click on the actual video part and hit properties now what you want to do is click on reduce interlace flicker and disable resample and click OK now go down to your track FX for the sound pops a window open uncheck everything all four need to be unchecked that way the sound is just raw and then X out of it if you're using more than one clip do the same process for each clip now what looks like a little yellow flag is a yellow marker that you want to left click and drag past the end of your video just a little bit and now you're ready to render your video click file render as okay now name it whatever you want to now the save as type WMV9 Windows Media Video 9 V9 okay now template 3 megabytes per second 3 megabytes per second and make sure render loop region stretch video and save project markers are all checked now click on custom this opens up a window that has tabs at the bottom project audio video bitrate click on the project tab up near the top of that window is video rendering quality use the drop down to put that on best now go back down and click on the audio tab make sure include audio is checked and make the mode quality VBR from CBR to VBR the rest should take care of itself now go back down and click on the video tab okay the audio and video formats are fine they're set now the image size use the drop down and click on custom you want to type in 640 by 480 don't use the DVD quality 640 by 480 use the custom the pixel aspect ratio is fine 1.000 the frame rate 29970 that's what my camera films at if you see yours in there somewhere choose it 29 is a good default the seconds per keyframe 3 is fine quality 100 percent slide that slider up and we're gonna make a preset I named it 3 megabytes per second WMV YouTube hit save pow that'll do it then you have this template you don't have to go through all this anymore go to the bottom click OK and now you're ready save click save and it'll be saving to wherever you want it to I hope this helps and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as quick as I can.